This AI might be better than ChatGPT. And the best part is, it's free. Known as Claude, this is currently their latest version, which is Claude 2. Started from the AI company known as Anthropic, which was co-founded by X OpenAI execs. And they have announced this version called Claude 2. And today we're gonna take a look at some of the amazing features that it has. And we'll also do some comparisons with ChatGPT4 to see whether or not it truly is better than the paid version of GPT. So first, let's just take a look at some background. Here from their Anthropic.com blog website post, they have announcing Claude 2, which is their new model. And essentially, in short, this has significantly better performance from the previous version of Claude, as well as a code-like interpreter that is similar to the recently announced one from ChatGPT, which we can take a look at. So just from these basic percentage stats right now, we can see that the latest model scored a 76.5% on the multiple choice section of the bar exam, up from 73% with the previous Claude 1.3. And if you compare this to college students applying to graduate school, guess what? Claude 2 scores above the 90th percentile on the GRE reading and writing exams, and this is similar to the median applicant on quantitative reasoning. So a quick comment on that, looks like these AIs are starting to do exceptionally well on these college-based exams, and eventually, I would not be surprised if that number went even higher throughout the next few months. Now, as of my knowledge, currently it states that the API for Claude 2 for business is being offered for the same price as Claude 1.3, and essentially anyone in the US and UK can start using their beta chat experience today. So for people outside of the US or UK or simply just don't know way to access this, then feel free to sit back and watch the video till the very end and see exactly what is the difference with this AI compared to a ChatGPT. And one fun fact to notice is they have increased the length of the Claude input and outputs. And it states here that users can input up to 100k tokens in each prompt. And essentially, that means that Claude can work with over hundreds of pages of technical documentation or even a book. Now, comparing this to current ChatGPT numbers, as far as my recent knowledge, charts at 8k and then can go up to 32k. Now, those numbers can be updated, but as of today, that is the current ChatGPT comparison. So, as you can see, Right off the bat, Claude, one being free, and two, it has a significantly higher input that you can actually basically get a big, larger answer from it versus a shorter response, for example, to ChatGPT. In addition, it can read essentially much more data. So here they can showcase this document and looks like it has quite a few pages. And now they're gonna state, I'm a sign enthusiast. Can you explain the importance of the first paper included? and take a look at this. You can actually add in a second paper and essentially you can upload multiple files for Claude and it can actually go ahead and read it. And they say this one right now shows up as 83K tokens. And this is significantly a better improvement compared to ChatGPT, which at least right now can only uptake one file at the moment. And as you can see, it is going through answering the prompts and essentially has the ability to analyze the documents another thing is their coding which i did make a quick comment about how they have something similar to the code interpreter from chat gpt and just looking at some quick percentages we can see that cloud 2 scored a 71.2 percent up from the 56 percent on the codex human eval and that is a python coding test and they say it here on the GSM8K, which is a large set of grade school math problems. Cloud 2 scored 88%, up from the 85.2%. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this video that showcases some of the features with coding and Cloud. So here they have this essentially this map. And from their prompt, they're asking to have it visualize some data. And now they state here, I'm gonna go ahead and Go ahead and see this working. And essentially it's gonna ask what type of data 
so they upload this looks like a JS file and essentially they're going to go ahead and take a look at what's inside looks like we have some D3 some JSON and essentially it looks like it's just a file with some code and some data in there and it says add in a mouse over tooltip that display the data of a similar score and now it's writing out the code in JSX so it looks like some React here and you can see as far as the code is showcasing some and now they're gonna go ahead and copy paste and run this so let's go ahead and see what happens when they add this into looks like a VS code editor and now you can see this has turned the somewhat starting image to this interactive map that is actually quite impressive so enough with the details let's actually go ahead and use Claude now it has a very similar setup except the UI obviously is a little different from ChatGPT but for the sake of it let's just go ahead and ask it a few questions now they have these options right here these try these so what we can do let's go ahead and just say explain how this Python game works and see what it ends up doing now I myself have dabbled with a little Python and I can see here we've got some functions and essentially in short it has this code and for people who've never written code or even studied Python this might look completely alien like to you and essentially we can see here for example let's take a look it's a rock paper scissors game and we have the options and basically if you have the same thing aka you both choose rock for example you get a tie else if you get uh, essentially a winning choice and the other doesn't then you have that you won or else the computer will win and that's essentially it's a rock paper scissors game in short and it has if else statements basically determining whether or not you have won or you have lost and now let's see how Claude explains this and here it showcases it in essentially technical terms mentions the rock paper scissors options showcases these functions and essentially technical stuff that if you coded you probably would understand this but for the person who's never seen this at all might seem a little confusing and basically like I mentioned earlier and this was the first time I've seen this too I've never seen this before I just looked at the code and just knew right away basically it is a rock paper scissors that loops until the player wants to stop and has used random selection for the computer and input value for the player so you can see that is one of the effects that you could do with Claude. Let's go ahead and go back and see some additional ones. So let's go ahead and look at this. Summarize this PDF document in a bullet point outline. So here, this is assuming that you've uploaded a file. By default, they already have this here. And essentially, we can actually go ahead and if I were to click on this, we can see this is the Brown versus Board of Education. And this is a look at this file, quite large in terms of what's inside and is showcasing a summary of this so this is actually a quite popular document i've seen this before and basically you can see some of the cool stuff that they added and i can see this already for anything in education or just in a job or a company where you have a file of data or something you just might not understand you could literally download the file get a summarization of it and boom even white papers if you've seen from research of these new ai companies whatever it is what industry you're in you can upload the file have it summarize it for you instantly and then you can ask it additional questions and even have it formatted to whichever way that it currently can at the moment and now let's go ahead and just test out the actual uses of it so these were some pre-built stuff they already had but what i like to see is is it better than chat gpt and the easiest way to do that is to well test recent events as of today ChatGPT has still not been up to date I believe it was 2021 is our latest so let's see can claude 2 come up with recent stuff so i'm gonna say what well let's do this yeah what is the threads app now for people who don't know this is a recent app that aka instagram mark zuckerberg has created and as we can see it literally says thread is a messaging app created by instagram then this is very 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 recent about a week ago when this was released and it looks like it has exactly what this has already and let me see here let's do this who is the founder of the threads app 
and it is going to go ahead and looks like it should say here is showcasing the Instagram and basically showcasing the current or at least right now the list of people and then who is the CEO and let's go ahead and see what it puts out and right now it's saying there's currently no leadership in terms of here but we can see some of the co-founders and then basically they served as CEO until they departed and looks like it's currently saying Mark Zuckerberg as CEO of Meta which is still that's good to see here and then we have additional well-known names there and then we can also do things as what is today's date and this should give us the today of July 12th when this is currently being recorded so now what we can do let's do a quick little simple comparison chat GPT I'm gonna go ahead and copy this prompt in here get over to the chat GPT and see if it can do it the answer so here I have GPT 3.5 so let's start off with that this is currently the free version so let's see if it can even go and look like we have the defaulted 2021 do not know so now let's go ahead and restart this and try this again so now let's go ahead and try this again with GPT 4 what is the third app and if I am correct it's gonna say the exact same thing cut off 2021 start of the back cloud has recent information and it is currently free so with those two looks like Claude is ahead currently in this particular space so while Claude does have some features that are ahead of ChatGPT, obviously we have to look at both of the pros and the cons now I could deep dive into this and ask it a bunch of deep hard analyzing questions and give you all the details and how it's better or even worse but i'll let you go ahead and do that yourself however i want to showcase some of the potential cons with cloud compared to gpt now the first thing is the file types that you can upload as of right now it says pdf txt csv etc now when i went ahead and clicked on this i wasn't able to add in images and also it seems like certain files zip files wasn't able to upload that as well so for example reading some sort of data file or something that isn't in a pdf form seems like you could probably convert that to that particular file type if it makes sense but as of right now this is something you can't do but on chat gpt you can actually upload zip files images and get some stuff from there now one thing i do want to see is can cloud do what one of the new code interpreter features was which generate a qr code so let's just try that out generate a qr code that leads to youtube and let's go ahead and see if that is possible now as of right now it looks like it is currently not able to do this and if i were to change this option it looks like i don't have any options yet now that looks like some of the code interpreter features on ChatGPT can do this. So again, it depends on your goals, but if you are just using this general, just to ask it some sort of text-based response questions, then I'm sure you could probably get a very similar output to ChatGPT and even the ChatGPT 4 Plus version. However, there are still some features, at least right now, that I haven't been able to figure out that ChatGPT does have on the upper hand. So if you want to pay the extra, then obviously that would make sense for your goals. But if not, Claude 2 is also a great choice as well. At the end of the day, AI is moving fast. So if you do want to keep up with the latest updates, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe.